Welcome back. We got another 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, Tabata style training program. Today's gonna be a little bit more strength focused. So we're gonna work on some upper body, we're gonna work on some abs, we're gonna do some plank variations, and then we're gonna hit the lower body, and we're gonna cycle through four cycles, eight movements. As always, do the best you can. I'm gonna offer progressions and regressions. Make sure that you have some water and a towel handy, and we're gonna rock this out. So we're gonna start out first. We have push-ups, close grip, ready, 20 seconds, Let's do it. You can go from your knees if you want to. Now, I always like to make a diamond. So you can see a diamond here. You're gonna make a diamond and you're gonna push, squeezing the triceps at the top. If you wanna go full progression, do a full progression one as well. Nice and controlled. If you have wrist issues, a normal push-up works fine here. But all the way to the end, nice and controlled, squeezing the triceps at the top. Good. So that's one movement down. We have the elevated crunch neck. So you're gonna be on your back. We're gonna have our feet elevated, almost a 90 degree angle, and we're gonna crunch. I always like to, personally, try to reach to my shins, getting a nice crunch, touching my ankles, shins, however you wanna do it, pushing that belly button to the ground. We got 10 more seconds. The next movement's a good one, one of my favorites. Good crunch. And done, good. Okay, we got the bear crawl. This one's a tough one. So, shoulders directly above your wrists. Knees, we're in the tabletop position. You're gonna lift up, inch above the ground. We're gonna hang out here for the full 20 seconds. Flat back, knees an inch above the ground. If you have to, go to the ground, catch your breath, come back up. You're gonna feel the shoulders burning on this one. You might even feel your quads. So you're gonna hang out, keep pushing, nice and controlled. All the way to the end. And done, good. Squats. Okay, do the best you can on squats at sinking your hips. A lot of people have tight hips. And their hip mobility is not that great, so you might not get as deep as you'd like. If you can go 90 degrees, that's fine. If you can drop a little lower, drop a little lower, just nice and controlled, doing the best you can. Mostly quads on this one, a quad dominant movement, keeping that chest up nice and high. Just get a good pace. Dropping down, good. People squat differently. Don't get caught up in the nuances of it. Make sure that it feels good when you do the movement. Wide grip, push-ups. Here's your regression if you need to. From your knees, lead with that chest. Good work. If you wanna make it harder, feet on the ground, pushing up. Here we go. Good. All the way to the end. Feel that burn. Good. Okay, we're gonna go to the ground, ankle wiggles on your back, feet are gonna be out in front of you, tuck the chin, and we're gonna bend from the obliques. You're gonna touch the ankles. It's called ankle wiggles. Good oblique movement. If you have to hold your neck, that's fine too. I care more about the side body and the obliques. Good. Well done, okay? We just got a standard, we're gonna go forearm plank hold. So eyes directly above your hands, squeeze the butt, squeeze the abs. Notice how my butt locks in and squeezes right here, good. Halfway there, 10 seconds. Try to maintain a nice flat back the best that you can. If you have to go to your knees, catch your breath, feel free. If not, hang out. Good. And then last but not least, we have the reverse lunges. So we're going to finish with this. We're going to grab a drink and catch our breath. So switching legs each time. I like the reverse lunges. It's a little bit easier on your knees if you have knee issues rather than going forward. Forward can put a little bit more of that anterior pressure, which can cause a little pain in your knees. Good. And... Catch your breath. Okay, that's one cycle. We got three more to go. Whew, that was good. So a little more strength focused. We have different Tabata workouts here on the YouTube page. Some are more cardio focused. Some might be more strength. We'll have some more upper body ones and some lower body ones. But thank you for joining me here in my backyard. I got some landscaping projects. I'll be taking care of here shortly. But um, it's perfect weather here right now in Arizona. I'm rocking this out early in the morning and uh, getting my workout in. So thank you for being here because it helps me out to get my workout 
before this day gets started. We got about 30 seconds to go. We're gonna do it all again with the progressions, with the regressions. I'll give you a few progressions here, I should say. But if you gotta do the regressions, totally cool. 15 to go. We're gonna start out again with the close grip push-ups. You got the diamond, if you want to. You can also do field goal posts, keeping it nice and tight. Here we go. Doing a little field goal post modification. Squeezing the triceps. Another good tricep movement, if you want to focus on triceps, are the dips. If done properly, it can be very beneficial. If not, just keep rocking these out. If you got to go for your knees, that's fine. And you don't have to do as many push-ups as I'm doing. You can go at your pace as long as you're pushing yourself. We are down to the elevated crunch again. Remember, 90 degree angle, try to touch your ankles or shins. Perfect. Halfway there, just get a good pace. Well done. Good, okay. Now we got the bear crawl hold. I'm gonna give you a little progression if you want. So we're gonna pop up. I'm gonna want you to go to the side and then back. I'm trying to keep, imagine if you had a cup of water on your back. You wanna keep that nice and neutral. You don't want it to fall over and spill. If you need to just hold, that's fine as well. Flat back, 90 degree angle from your heel to your knee to your butt. And then we're gonna squat. You're doing a good job so far. Keep pushing. Dropping down. Good. Let's get a good pace. Sometimes you can grab a kettlebell, dumbbell, or whatever you have at your house, hold it in front of you. It can help counterbalance movement, make it more of a front squat, which can be beneficial if you want to make it harder. And done. Good work. Okay. Wide grip, push-ups again. I'll start out, knees first, and then we're going to work our way into it. On your knees, bring your hips with you. What I don't want to see is this. Try to avoid this. See how my butt stays? It's got to come with. Good. Finish. Done. Good. We got the ankle wiggles. We'll be on our back, feet flat. Here we go, side to side. Good. Halfway there, keep pushing. All the way to the end. Good job, well done. Plank hold. I'm going to mix it up this time. We're going to go push up plank hold. So shoulders again are going to be engaged. Squeeze your butt. Shoulders directly above your wrists. Hanging out here. Good. Spread your fingertips too. Make sure that your hands nice and wide. Get more surface area. It can help stabilize a little bit better. And done. Good. And then last but not least, we have the reverse lunges, and we'll grab a drink. And we're halfway there. You're doing great. Here we go. Once again, you can hold weight. If you have it, you can hold it in front of you. But stay balanced, nice and controlled. Halfway there. Good work. All the way to the end. Good. Okay. Two down, we got two to go. Whew. Grab a quick drink. Take your time, breathe. Wearing a hat today, because I need a haircut. It's pretty bad. It's getting long. Whew. So, some people ask too, is it better to work out in the morning, the afternoon, the evening. My answer to that is always depends. 
kind of on your lifestyle. I'm an individual who likes to get my workout done in the morning, but I certainly can do, you know, late afternoon. I tend to avoid the evenings just because I have a harder time falling asleep, but some people don't have that issue where they can work out at nine o'clock at night and they can fall asleep at 11. Um, that's not me. So whatever works best for you. I read a book a while back called Eat the Frog, which means do the worst thing that you have during the day first, so it's done with. If this is the worst thing that you're doing working out, get it done first. Close grip push-up. That way you have the rest of the day to do the things that you might enjoy doing. That's assuming you don't like working out. But we all love working out, don't we? Good job. Keep pushing. All triceps, good. Okay, to our back, we got the elevated crunch. Feet up. Touching the shins or the ankles. Here we go. Halfway there, good work. Good, well done. Okay, we got the bear crawl. Watch my back legs. When I'm elevated up here, I don't want them here and I don't want them in a plank. So it's almost like a 90 degree angle. The best that you can, I can't really see in a mirror right now, but from your heel to your knee to your butt, we're gonna hang out here. This makes it challenging. And your shoulders are really gonna engage as well, trying to keep you up. Good. And then we have squats. That's a good move. I really do enjoy that one because you do get the shoulder burn, plus your core is engaged, plus you feel a little bit in the lower body as well. Dropping down. There's a lot of variations too to the bear crawl movement. You can actually turn it into a crawl. Sink those hips. Good. Chest up. I feel tight today. You can do a little bit more mobility. Good, okay, we've got the wide grip push-up. I'm gonna change it here, we're gonna go staggered. So we're gonna go one back, one forward. Just a, a modification, no rhyme or reason. Just wanna make it a little bit different here. Go from your knees if you want to, keep going. Good. I went right arm on top, left arm on bottom. We'll switch that next time. We got ankle wiggles. Here we go. Tap and go. All the way to the end. Keep pushing. Feel those obliques crunch. Good. We're gonna go back to the forearm plank position, squeezing the butt, squeezing the abs, engaging all of it. Eyes are directly above your hands. What I mean by that is I don't wanna see this or this. So we're here, eyesight, squeeze the butt, squeeze the abs. Good work. All the way to the end. Good. Finish strong with the reverse lunge. Then I'm gonna talk a little bit about Tabata. Once we're done with this. Here we go. Nice and controlled, stepping back. Good job. Five seconds. And done, good. Okay, if you think I talk too much, you can mute me for the next minute. We're gonna talk just a little bit about Tabata, which is this 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest kind of time format. The goal is to go as hard as you can in that 20 seconds. You then are gonna have that 10 second break, which is short to catch your breath. And we're gonna jump back into another 20 second movement. Now, you can keep it one to two movements. You can have eight different movements. In this case, we have eight different movements. I kind of set it up where it's a push-up, an ab movement, 
kind of an, a core plank movement and then a lower body movement. And you're cycling through that basically twice in a circuit. You're going to do four circuits or cycles. So that's the goal of Tabata. They're 20 minute workouts. Do the best you can, go as hard as you can in that 20 seconds. Catch your breath for that 10 seconds. There's other variations that we'll be doing here on the uh, YouTube page. You got 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We got 40, 20, so there's a lot of different variations. This is just the 2010. Okay, close grip push up. Here we go. I'm gonna go diamond. Nice and control pushing, squeezing the triceps. Good. Halfway there. This is our last cycle, gang. You're almost through. You gotta go from your knees, that's fine as well. You can even go incline if you wanna have like a, a countertop or a couch, that can make it a little bit easier as well. Okay, we got the elevated crunch. I tell you that now when it's, when we're done doing it, I apologize. Good. Crunching. Halfway there. Good. And we got the bear crawl. This is the last time you gotta do the bear crawl today. Here we go. Hanging out, full 20 seconds. Good, just make sure you're breathing. If you gotta go down to your knees to catch your breath, feel free. We're not stopping until the very end. You got four seconds, push it. Good. Squats. Here we go. Sinking those hips. Another thing too, is feel free to do these again. As you get in better shape, it becomes easier and you can complete these, you know, with a little more confidence. You kind of know what's coming. You know, the first time you do it, it's kind of new and fresh. Once you kind of repeat it, you get better at it. You know what's coming. And left arm forward, right arm back, staggered. Knees if you want. Full progression, you got 10 seconds. Good. Well done. Okay, we got the ankle wiggles. Here we go. Tap and go. Halfway there, good work. Good. We're gonna go back to that push up plank hold, <coughs> push up plank hold. Shoulders above the wrists. Here we go. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the abs. We got two more to go, guys. Finish strong. This is it. No turning back now. Halfway there. Good. Five seconds to go. You got this. Push it, push it. And done. Good. And then the last thing we got is we have the reverse lunges. You can hold weight if you need to. If not, hands go on the hips. Hands go in front of you. Whatever works. We're staying balanced. Stepping back. Nice and controlled. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one, and done. Great job. Thank you so much for doing this workout with me. I might jump in the pool here, cool off. Don't forget to subscribe and check back. We got more workouts coming every single week. Thanks.